Okay. Yeah, the screen was looking a little weird there. All that wasn't really static. It was like the USB port was messed up. All right, what do we got here? We got um here. Um, hmm. GCF. Okay, GCF. Uh, definitely a two, four. Nope, not a four. So let's just go two, and I can definitely take out an M. Okay, so that's going to be 16 minus 81, and then I've got M to the 4th. Okay, so that's good. Now, that's a perfect square, that's a perfect square, and that's a perfect square. So this is the difference to uh, two squares again, but the 2M is just a tag along. We've already factored him out, and that allows us to actually look at the difference of two squares. So let's just figure out what's being squared here. Um, we've got a 4 for sure, and then we've got a 9 and then an M squared. So notice that I'm just, I'm setting up this template here so I can specifically, don't try to do it all in your head. You know, um, you'll make a mistake and maybe not give yourself enough M's or too many M's or, you know, just you mix up some stuff. So be really careful here and just make sure you use this little template here. Do it with the cubes too. So I've got my A, I've got my B, and now I just gotta unravel it. So in the next step, I can actually just write my answer here. Unless, oh shoot. Um, that's a difference of two squares, two. This one's not though. This one's not. This is, that's not a difference. That's a sum. And you can't do a sum of two squares. So this one, the guy is, let's see. 2, and then that's 3m. Okay, so now we got 2m, and then 2 um, minus 3m, 2 plus 3m, and then I still got this guy. Okay, that is completely factored, so that's that's quite an awesome thing. Um, this one is uh, four terms. There's only one way to factor four terms. And if you have your flowchart there, you will know that you can only do it this way. you got to split them in half, and hopefully something works out really nice, because if it doesn't, you can't do it. So let's see. Um, I can take a four and two Vs out of this one. So that's two V plus five. And then I can take a 9 out of each of these, and that would be 2v. I'm um, taking out a negative 9, so that's also a plus 5. So if you're wondering what sign this has to be, why, you need to make these identical. Okay? If you put a plus there, then this would be a negative 2v minus 5, and then those wouldn't match. you got to make sure that they match. Okay. So as we are right now, we have a 4v squared minus 9 times 2v plus 5. And that's cool. And normally you'd be done. Except this guy's a different to 2 squares. So watch out for that. I got a 2v and then a 3. So this is going to be 2v plus 3. And then 2v minus 3 times 2v plus 5. Now, just take a second here and just make sure. Um, if I were to multiply the first terms of this, I'd get 8v to the third. That is what I get. 3 times negative 3, negative 9. Negative 9 times 5 is negative 45. Okay, so this actually logically makes sense. And then there's a, there's two different uh, groups of like terms that you would add together. So um, we don't have to redo it, but you know it's just good to kind of see, would you get this guy or would you get this guy? And you can kind of... Um, Test it just to see. All right, all right. I'm just gonna keep going forward here. It is getting late for me. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, it's almost 10:30. Um. So I'll go as far as my brain can can do it. Um. Uh, but you'll definitely have them all um, before um before the end of school uh, today, um, which would be your which would be Monday. All right, so let's do a lot of factoring here, if we can. Uh, we are multiplying, so we're not adding. We don't need similar denominators. That would be like for here. Here you need similar denominators because you're subtracting. But if you're just uh, multiplying, you just it's just like uh, multiplying fractions, so you're, you don't have to worry about too much. But maybe there's a lot that can cancel out. I can take out an 8, and I can take out two A's, and that would give me A plus 3. Okay, 
Now down here, I can take out a 9, and that would give me a 2a plus 6, oh, 2a plus 6 which means I could have taken out an 18. Um, so that will give me an A, and then that would be, what, 3? 3, 3, 20, yes, 3. Okay, so that's an A plus 3. Um, now the reason why I knew that, because this would have been a 2A plus 6, so then 2A plus 6, you can take out a 2 out of that, so then the 9 would get multiplied by 2. So um, that's an A plus 3. Now automatically these guys are going to cancel out, okay? And I can actually divide this by 2. Um, that would be 4, and that would be 9. Okay, so already I've got a lot. Um, a, I only have 4a squared and a 9. That's all that I really have. But what's going on, going on over here? Uh, I got 5a squared and then 24. So what I got to do here is I have to um, use the AC method, and that would be 5 times 24 is 108. And what's going to give me 43? So I have to think, and I'm going to pretend that I'm doing this in my head. And that would be, that would be, um, is that right? Did I multiply that right? Um, 24 times 5? No, 120, I was going to say. 120, and so that's 40 and 3. Okay, so then we've got, now I'm just doing this up here because I, I don't have a lot of room here. So um, I'm going to go, um, uh, what is this? It's A plus 40, and then we've got A uh, plus 3, right? But then we have to divide by 5, so then we get A plus 8, and then 5A plus 3. Okay, so the saw method. <clears throat> so um, that's cool. And then this guy, I can take out a 2 and an A, and I would get 5A plus 3, and that cancels that out and that out. And then that 2 will cancel this guy there to a 2, and then that A will take away one of those. So what is left? We've got a 2, a plus 8, and then we have 9. Okay, and I'm gonna, just going to double check that. Uh, oh, I still have this a, so we got an a right there. Okay. All right, that's it. Okay, I don't know why I like these. They're just kind of fun. They're just, what is it about canceling a whole slew of things out? It's like, I don't know. The same people, the same reason why you like word searches, you know, crossing the word I. It's just, it's just something. Okay, so um, I'm going to factor this guy because I need common denominators. Now, oh, I did a minus. That is a difference of two squares, so I've got that. Okay. And then this guy's P plus one. So these guys would be good if he had a P minus one. So let's give him a P minus one. Now those colors are too close together, but oh well. Okay, so, now I'm not solving for this, I'm just simplifying it. If I was solving, I would put a line through the common denominator and just focus on this equaling something over there. But, I'm not doing that. I've got a uh, 3p plus 1 minus negative 1 times p is negative p. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. All over p plus 1, p minus 1. Combine those terms and I get 2p plus 2 over p plus 1, p minus 1. You can factor out a 2. That was highly exaggerated excitement. So in case you thought I was for real, um, that was fake. All right, and looks like those p plus ones could actually can cancel out. Uh, no, I, I, I was excited. I'm just kidding. So two um, over p minus one is the final answer. Let me double. Yes, that's correct. So beautiful. All right. So now we got some comp. We got a complex uh, fraction here. These are super cool. Um, 
what we're going to do is just focus on this group, give it a common denominator, and focus on this group, give it a common denominator, and just see what happens. All right, so let's go ahead and um, so really what ends up happening is that this ends up like this, okay, or something like that, where you're just multiplying two fractions. So let's give this guy, um, if I can give this guy a 9, um, he would become 18, okay, so that would be a 9 over 18. So since this is 18, I can squeeze them together, and I would have 9 minus r squared. Okay, so that's that. And I do notice the difference of two squares there, so I will factor him in the jiffy. I can't believe I said jiffy. Um, let's give this guy an r. Um, he needs an r. He needs a 3. So he's going to get an r. He's going to get a 3 and you'd have 3R. Okay. Now, don't let your brain get rattled that much. What you're going to do is you're now going to take the middle divisor out of there by putting this group up at the top. And what you've got to do is you have to switch the order here. Okay. So, if you are going to divide by a fraction, it's the same as multiplying by its reciprocal so those guys have to come out like that. So this is, I really can't visualize what's going on there. This is much better. And what I will do is I will see, mm, you know what, I got a couple tricks here. I'm going to rearrange the order here because um, I do see that the r is first. Let's rearrange this by doing the r squared minus 9 like that. If I put the negative sign here, I can rearrange the order. Please don't forget that trick. It is such a useful trick. Uh, going forward uh, for the rest of your mathematical career. Um, then when you <clears throat> when you multiply going forward, you're going to have um, negative r plus 3, r minus 3, because those are the <clears throat> difference of two squares, over 18, 3r, and then this guy's r minus 3. Now notice I didn't put the parentheses around here, uh, but I did here, just so that uh, I always like to do that with binomials. Um, so that way you know that they're a package and you don't accidentally, like say, cross out that 3 with that 3 because you can't do that over addition uh, or subtraction. And so now uh, this, this 3 and this 18, uh, 3 will go into 18 6 times. So it looks like what we've got is we've got a negative r r plus 3. I'm just going to move that r to the front because usually whenever they're single, like a single uh, monomial, we'll put it just to the front just so that you can see it. If you put it behind, um, sometimes it gets lost. So it's just a good kind of... Um, um, now that is not what the answer says. Oh, yeah it is. I was looking at I was looking at halfway down the thing. Okay, no, then that's right. Shoot. Um, so uh, yeah, there we go. Where are we at? Uh, Thirteen. Stop.